गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस ऑफ एक्वस कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन यूजिंग इनर्ट इलेक्ट्रोड फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्लेटिनम इलेक्ट्रोड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट यू मीन बाय इनर्ट इलेक्ट्रोड इनर्ट इलेक्ट्रोड मीन्स इलेक्ट्रोड विच डू नॉट रिएक्ट इन द पर्टिकुलर रिएक्शन और इन द पर्टिकुलर इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक सेल सो इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस ऑफ एक्वस कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन वी आर टेकिंग देन ऑन पासिंग इलेक्ट्रिक करंट ऑन पासिंग इलेक्ट्रिक करंट वट विल हैपन ऑन पासिंग इलेक्ट्रिक करंट थ्रू दिस एक्वस कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन दीज चेंजेस विल अकर सी यू एस ओ फोर क्लियर इट विल फॉर्म द आइंस सी यू टू पॉजिटिव प्लस सल्फेट आय एंड एच टू ओ एक्वस मीन्स वॉटर सो हियर इट विल बी एच पॉजिटिव प्लस ओ एच नेगेटिव आइंस क्लियर नाउ एज वी नो द पॉजिटिव आइंस विल मूव टू कैथोड एंड नेगेटिव आइंस विल मूव टू एनोड सो एट कैथोड let us take first reaction at cathode at cathode what will happen both cu2 positive and h positive will migrate to cathode but as we have done earlier that only a particular ion will discharge at cathode clear so in previous video we have done the increasing order of discharge potential so according to that uh, uh, according to that order of uh, discharge of some cations at cathode out of these two copper ion will get discharge and whereas h positive ions will remain in the solution therefore what will happen cu2 positive plus at cathode what happen at cathode at cathode reduction takes place reduction takes place cu2 positive and reduction means gain of electron so here it will get two electrons and it will form copper metal clear and this copper will get deposited at cathode clear now at anode what will happen at anode same both the ions hydroxide and sulfate ion both will travel at cathode uh, uh, sorry anode but here according to the discharge potential out of hydroxide and sulfate first of all sulfate ion and hydroxide ion both will reach at anode but out of the, both the ions which ion will get discharge here hydroxide ion will get discharge and we know it depends upon their discharge potential so hydroxide at anode what will occur oxidation occurs oxidation occurs so hydroxide will lose electron to form oh plus e clear and the complete reaction of this we have done earlier this oh is not stable so this oh plus oh will combine to form h2o plus oxygen now next this oxygen is also unstable here in this reaction this oh is unstable therefore two oh will combine to form h2o plus o now here this is single oxygen atom so it also combine o plus o will give o2 clear now earlier we have done multiply it with 2 so that this and this cancels out both the equation what will happen this this 2o and this 2 it cancel out and the resulting equation will be if we consider this this will be this oh will be multiplied by 2 therefore 2 oh plus 2 oh will give h2o plus o2 
this oxygen, this oxygen, they both cancel out. Now, 2OH plus 2OH is 4OH. Here, 4OH will give H2O plus O2. Clear? Now, what will happen? Take this equation and this equation. Let it consider it as 1, it as 2. Now, taking both the equation, OH negative, OH plus electron, equation number 1. And second is 4OH will give H2O plus O2. Now, simply this one and this one both are same. Then, multiply it with 4 again. So, here it is 4OH negative. Here, 4OH. So, what will happen? 4 multiplying this 4OH and 4OH both cancels out. Then, it will be multiply this. Then, 4OH negative will give H2O plus O2 plus here we have 4 electrons. Clear? So, this is the equation at anode. Clear? And on writing, adding both the, uh, this equation at cathode and anode, we will cancel out the number of electrons. So, here what will, what we will consider that as the result of electrolysis of aqueous copper sulfate solution using inert electrode. Inert means this electrode will not interfere in the reaction taking place. So, as this, as a result of this, what will happen? Electrolysis of this. Then what will be the result? Result will be, as you have seen, copper is deposited copper is deposited on the cathode on the cathode clear and this is at cathode this is at cathode and at anode as we have seen oxygen is evolved oxygen is evolved at anode clear so this is the product at cathode at anode on the electrolysis of aqueous copper sulfate solution using inert Electrode. Inert electrode, one of the example is platinum electrode. Graphite electrode is also an example of inert electrode. Clear? Now, next we will see electrolysis of aqueous copper sulfate solution using attacking electrode. Electrode which will interfere in the reaction. So, coming to next. We will start with electrolysis of electrolysis of I hope it is visible to you electrolysis of aqueous copper sulfate okay, solution using attacking electrode using attacking electrode and here attacking electrode is copper electrode here we have taken copper electrode now what will be the difference between the two same as in previous we have the equation CuSO4, CuSO4, it will form Cu2 positive plus, plus sulfate 
and then water it will ionize to give H positive plus OH negative then the reaction at cathode clear and at cathode same the positive ions travel copper and H positive both copper and out of copper and H positive copper ion that will be discharged same as in case in uh, in previous case CO2 positive plus 2 electron it will give Cu and this copper will be deposited at cathode here cathode may reduction takes place clear Cu2 positive plus 2 electron will form copper and this copper will deposit at cathode clear and where it will deposit on the copper electrode acting as cathode clear because here electrode we have used is copper electrode so this copper will get deposited on the copper electrode which is acting as a cathode now interesting is what will happen at anode first of all at anode oxidation takes place clear now out of sulfate and hydroxide ion neither sulfate nor hydroxide ions are liberated then what will happen the copper atoms from the anode clear matlab the electrode copper electrode which we have used as a cathode uh, sorry as a anode from there copper atom are oxidized to cu positives so here this will be the reaction cu oxidation is loss of electron so it will form cu2 positive plus 2 electrons clear and from where this copper is coming this copper this is from copper electrode from copper electrode clear which is acting as anode from there copper will what what will this copper do this will lose electron to form cu2 positive plus 2 electrons so here what will be the result the net result of the electrolysis is that from the solution cu2 positive ions are deposited this cu2 positive ions are from the solution from the solution these cu2 positive ions are deposited on cathode as copper and equivalent amount of copper from the anode goes into the solution clear eh? okay so these are the uh, different products formed if we have taken attacking electrode or inert electrode attacking electrode if we are taking then the electrode which act as anode clear that atom will lose electron to form the particular ions and the other ions will not take part in the in this whole electrolysis clear so this is the electrolysis next we will uh, come with another <coughs> topic